Hi, I'm Tom from the Potato Museum again. Have a look at this machine. What do you think this is for? Huh? Looks like Pretty a formal. giant alligator. <laughs> yeah, it does. Ready to grab you uh, by the hoo-ha. Okay, we're going to talk about that in a minute. I guess not. Uh, this, is sort of, <laughs> this, this potato is kind of becoming a star of these videos. Yay! Um, this is called a, a russet burback potato. We're going to get to talk about that. But notice, by the way, that potatoes have eyes where there's uh, going to sprout a, a bud. And they also have potato um, eyebrows. Can you see them? Pretty prominent. There it is. Look. Well, so this is this is a, a russet Burbank potato, and it's named by from the by the pre breeder, named after the breeder of the russet Burbank potato. These kind of potatoes are very important to the Idaho made Idaho famous. They're good for making French fries and the baked potato. So it named after the breeder. Um, Luther Burbank, what who a um, was the beginning of the 1910s, was um, a young man very good at breeding plants. He lived in Worcester, Massachusetts, and he's most famous, or he got his really start by um, coming across and developing the uh, this potato that we're just talking about, which was named after him. And you can see this chapter in his book called Potatoes Promise a Future, because he was able to sell his um, this potato that he had bred to a seed company in Massachusetts and with the money he made he moved to California and the rest is history because he ended up breeding all sorts of fruits and vegetables there's a museum his home is now a museum in Santa Rosa California we have lots of books about him this is his biography harvest of the years and this is what he looked like in later life Luther Burbank he's not bad a very yeah. famous person in the history of plant <laughs> breeding especially and potatoes so we're back to this. So before there was um, an industry specializing in just growing small potatoes that would be planted, and uh, this is a seed potato industry, uh, that had just enough moisture and nutrients to get the plant going, to get the plant growing and put out roots. So these are seed potatoes. But before there was a seed potato industry, people just took whatever potatoes they had and they cut them out, cut an eye out each, I mean, this one would maybe get six or seven or eight of them. See, there's another one, you can cut that out. And they use various tools to do that. Now this, by the way, is our, if you want to just see everything, a, a sample of lots of things from the Potato Museum collection, you can get this book, it's available on Amazon. Um, I'm just gonna show you, um, people would use a knife like this to cut out a, an eye, which would then later be planted. See these, the mother and a son, we think uh, coming, the potatoes are in this bin, they're coming slowly out and they would be using a knife like this to cut these into various sections of the eyes and go into the pot, into the basket to be planted. Uh, here's this machine, by the way, that we're just talking about. We're gonna get to that in a minute. Here's a boy using a machine, something like this, that would be putting the potatoes in and then pressing it down and it would cut them into various sizes. That's what this machine is doing. A person would sit here, put a potato here, and then with that foot pedal, this would come down and cut the potato into sections and they would fall into a basket like that. So um, we are going to, by the way, plant this potato. We're going to cut it probably here and then maybe have this section and plant this section. This is, this is really ready to go. You can see it's already starting to form some leaves here. Um, we're gonna, after we cut it, we're gonna let it sit for two days so that it kind of heal um, that base that's been cut so that it won't get any infections and stuff like that after we plant it. So that's where we are. I wanna show you one other thing. A much more industrialized, people don't use these anymore, by the way, again, because there's a sea potato industry. But you can see this guy, he puts the potatoes on here, pushes the pedal down, and this comes and cuts them, and the results he's going to show you here. See all of these potatoes that he has on the board? They've all been cut into small sections which can then be planted. This, again, was in the 20s and 30s, long just before the time of the seed potato industry got started. So that's, that's all from now. Uh, thanks for joining us. We'll see you again next time.